Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. Today, I wanted to discuss a couple of things. First thing I wanted to discuss was a new story about crypto. I think Bitcoin and Ethereum have been on a pretty good uptrend recently. And according to PwC, this is because of large investment firms are getting heavily involved in crypto investment. And I know the big swing up in Bitcoin a lot of people thought it was because Amazon put an opening on their website saying they were looking for a crypto specialist. People thought that they were going to start accepting crypto. Uh, there's other websites like Newegg that started accepting forums of, of cryptocurrency. But according to a PwC report, uh, there's a lot more investment funds getting involved. And more specifically, it says that large venture capital firms are getting involved. And that's PwC's leader is Henry R. Arslanian. And I mean, we talked about this a lot on here about how crypto is growing and this DeFi movement is, is only growing. And we spoke to a specialist in this area, one of the big four accounting firms. And there's a lot of services to be offered not only in the advisory market, which is would be the biggest area right now, but also in taxes, audit, just basically all throughout the value chain, the big four accounting firms are going to be getting involved. And I've been trying to tell people this, trying to get more involved. I think it's more exciting than the rest of the big four accounting firms. It's a little bit more established. There's a lot more regulation that's coming out uh, in the United States and around the world. There's just going to be a lot more consulting to be done. It's going to be a lot more exciting. It's going to be a lot younger. And since PwC released that crypto report, they released that, that crypto report every year, uh, I think they're becoming more prominent in the crypto space. So so it's it's another area where the big four accounting firms are getting involved in these reports and their analysis. They're, if, if that report continues to be as popular as it is, then PwC will be one of the, the go-to people for crypto analysis and anytime there's an upswing in crypto. But right behind them will be the other big four accounting firms. So I thought that was interesting that that they did that. I think it's important for PwC. I think, I mean, just liking the crypto markets myself, I think the more often PwC does this, um, I think that it's just better for their firm and other big four accounting firms to get out as much information as possible because people that are into Bitcoin and crypto and, and DeFi really love this stuff. They eat it up. There's just all kinds of information out there that people, um, you know, can analyze, especially with DeFi, because DeFi is so confusing. There's so many layers to it. Uh, It's not really optimal for people with a low amount of capital, but to large, uh, large investment firms like venture capitals who have a lot of money, then they, they can make a lot of money on that. And I'm sure a lot of them are getting into it because they've seen the outsized returns in some of these other hedge funds, investment firms, venture capital firms that had, you know, hundred percent plus returns in 2020 and investors are asking why they're not getting involved. So, and not only that, people that have there have been in other hedge funds are going to break out and start their own funds. So there's a lot of opportunities here. It's a growing space, any growing space, the big four accounting firms are going to get involved in. So that's the crypto part. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is just work ethic in the big four accounting firms because I've been running into certain things in in my work where the staff people or low-level people that I've been working with just had a bad attitude and are not afraid to tell you that they don't want to uh, do something or do work. And it's just, I, I don't want to say it's a generational thing because I feel like people did that to me when I first started. But it's just it's just shocking the way people approach things now. Or I mean, you know, it's just I'm I'm generalizing a little bit, but I I just wanted to remind people you need to be 
uh, you don't have to do all the work, but you don't have to be nonchalant and pretend like you don't care about the work you're doing. You need to show interest. You need to show some motivation. A, a lot of us are in accounting, obviously, for the salary, for the benefits, but um, you get more salary and more benefits the faster you move up and the more motivated you are, the faster you're going to move up. Uh, but, but I guess it's up to everybody how they work. It's just, I, I think there's, there's just, um, I think there's a lack of effort and a lack of desire recently. And I think a lot of it could be doing due to work from home as well, because, uh, people don't have the, as much coaching when they're at home. But also I think another thing too, the big four accounting firms is, is people don't provide good feedback. And I know that people always complain about that in the big four accounting firms, but it's going to be worse when people are home. Um, but just in general, most people know what the right thing to do is. Um, you have to remember the people you work with are humans too. So, you know, you have to give some effort. Uh, and it's just building your brand as well. Cause a lot of people, if they have these bad attitudes towards work, um, they'll blame the accounting firm, they'll blame their supervisor and they'll just leave and then they'll run into the same issue somewhere else. So that's just something that I, I noted because I, I, it's not just one instance where I'm running into this multiple and it's not people just brushing me off or delaying, giving me stuff. It's them blatantly saying what I believe are ridiculous responses to small requests of just analyzing something, getting a work paper to agree to another work paper, just the basics and people are just, it's hard to get an effort out of a person. And it's something that would take me like two seconds then, you know, it'd take the other person a small amount of time as well. It's just, I don't know, the, the, the attitudes I've been dealing with have not been, you know, what I'm used to, but, and I, and I guess on the other side, right, on, on the flip side to the other people that might be a little bit more senior, uh, don't don't ever bring up, I think it's important to fix messaging to junior people and as other people move up. That if, if people are leaving the firm, I think it's important to not constantly highlight that on calls because I know when you're shooting the crap or whatever in your day-to-day, -day, it's it's it feels like it's okay to say, Oh, people are leaving. They're going all over. Uh, it's and just joking about a lot of people leaving, joking about hope it's better. Then that's going to send a message to the younger people that, Hey, well, I should be looking to. And I think that's what happens. Cause that's what used to happen to me a lot when I was younger is, is you hear all these people leaving. You wonder if you should leave. And I, I would caution people to do that. Even if they're, you're a little bit jaded because then you're going to lose your workforce if you constantly bring that up and the young people are aware of the people leaving and I think that's fine, but I, I don't think you should constantly bring it up and, and joke about it. Cause, cause if you constantly bring it up and joke about it, then, then the younger people are going to consider that an opportunity to leave as well. But also the other thing that that comes along with is that the people that already struggle with doing good work are going to even struggle more because they're like, you should be grateful that I'm here and I, I can do less and, and people will accept less. So I, I think there's a, there's a, you have to be careful the way you message people leaving the firm, but also don't highlight it all the time when you're trying to connect with younger people as well. Uh, if, if you want to get a better effort out of them. So that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to get future updates and also make sure to check out the description to this podcast to find out ways that you can support us. Thanks for listening.